In this video, we're looking at FlipQuiz. FlipQuiz is a great way to check students' understanding and learning. Uh, one of its benefits is it only requires you to have one device at the front of the room, either a TV or a projector. And if you're keen on being a game show host, or you always thought the idea of being a game show host sounded quite fun, then you can act out the part as you ask the students questions from a big grid of, of squares that appears when you play the quiz. So first off, let's look at how we create a quiz. So I've logged on. You can log on with your social media accounts or your email. Um, if you click on the down arrow from by your name, you can create a new board and you can also view your board. So I'm going to view my boards. And then I'm going to edit my board just to show you how to use it. So we'll just wait for it to load up. So I've decided to do mine on James Bond just to show you. So you can edit the questions. So the questions appear there and the answer. And then if you want to, you can add an image URL to add the answers. So I'm just going to go through and add some question marks at the end of these questions. You can add an image to your questions as well, but I've decided just to have images on my answers. Uh, so these just a, it's a standard question, single question. It's not multiple choice or anything, but I think it works nicely. You can add notes at the bottom uh, to explain anything or cite some sources, and then you've got the option for a quick save, which saves any amendments that you've made to to that category of questions, or you can have a save and finish when you're done. So you can have up to six different categories. I've decided just to have the three, and you don't have to have all of the questions. Um, so there's a total of uh, one, two, three, four, five questions, but you don't have to have five questions, it's up to you. So I've done my, my things, so very easy to use. As I suggest in other videos, it's really worth keeping a copy of all of your questions so then you can use them for other sites as well. So we've now got all of our questions, we've got our answers, and we've got images related to our answers for this category. I go save and finish. And I can from my panel there, I can go play. I can also like other boards, so I can look at other questions that are available and I can like those uh, and they will appear on my thing. So this is how the game appears. I've only done the three categories. If you've done the six, obviously they'd fill the space. And the way it works is the typically you put the easier questions at the lower value and the harder questions at the higher value. And then all you do is you get your students to choose a category and a question and then we click on the thing. So it brings up the question, which singer passed out while hitting the last note when singing the theme song? And the answer is Tom Jones in Thunderball, and it brings up the answer there. So that's one without an, uh, an image for the answer. But if we go to Bond Cars, let's try 300. And what's nice is you can be asking students, different students, specific questions. Uh, you may you can run it as a, as a team thing. We've got two teams, and they're all jockeying to answer the question. So which car did James Bond run off in the road in Goldfinger and yeah the answer is the Ford Mustang so we'll do one more question just to show you how it looks like and after you've answered the question asked the question they appear blank so we'll do one last question um, Bond girls which female Bond villain had a crush on him in Goldeneye and the answer was Xenia on topper on a top so there you have it so that is flip quiz me. I'll make the flip quiz available for you to have a play and test your own bond knowledge. Thanks for watching. Join me again soon. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel.